61's Angelo Bavaro has more on where this race currently stands this morning. Hey, Angelo, good morning. Good morning. So as we've been talking about, Deloro is facing her toughest challenge in decades against Republican opponent Margaret Stryker. But as of this morning, as of the latest update, those votes are looking good for the incumbent again. All of those votes are not in at this point. So we want to show you where things stand right now, where that race stands this morning. According to the latest update from the Associated Press, we have 42% of precincts reporting. Now, Deloro is leading with about 59% of that vote. And Republican candidate Margaret Stryker is trailing with 40% of that vote. Meanwhile, Green Party candidate Justin Paglino has captured about 1% of the vote. Now, Delora has represented Connecticut's 3rd Congressional District since the first time she ran for office in 1990. And she has rarely ever faced a strong challenge. Of course, things are different this year with Margaret Stryker turning many heads across the state. Stryker grew up in Milford and has accomplished a real estate business. And she also ran a very well-financed campaign with critical attack ads against Deloro and was endorsed by the New Haven Police Union and several other police unions as well across the state. Now, we did catch up with both candidates last night, both of them expressing confidence in their voters. Take a listen. I guess right now I'm just watching and waiting like everybody else, um, but it's certainly exciting. It's thrilling. I suspect we're going to end up in an automatic recount. Uh, but if what we see pulls through for the rest of the night, then this is a dead heat. It is working families that need a break, and it is government which can and must play a role in helping people get a better chance at a better life. And again, no winner has been declared by the AP in this race, but as of that latest update, Deloro is up against Stryker. We have reached out to both campaigns to get a feel for how they're feeling this morning. We are waiting to hear back, but we'll check back in. We are live in New Haven this morning. I'm Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.